Okay, we're taking the sixth grade uh, mathematics PBA practice test at the park uh, testing. Uh, we're on question seven of twelve, and so far the question is asking um, estimate the company's total sales and dollars of golf balls in year four. Show all your work, explain how you determined your estimate. And you have to explain your work, so you can't show your work. Well, it says to show your work, but how are you going to show your work yeah, on really. the internet? And then that's the chart that we're using. Okay. Okay, um, okay so how... It said there was a cap. The company expects the sales of yellow golf balls to come. I'll just use my phone as a calculator. So see, if I had, like, my graphing calculator, that'd be... But I feel like you want to be... Sixth grades can't use the graphing. Oh, you're right. You're right. right. Okay, so the com. It's yellow golf balls and white golf balls. Table shows sales of yellow. So it's okay. gonna increase in year four. Then I already determined like these two are irrelevant. Okay. So should we just find the difference between the years? That's what I'm doing right now. Okay. I'll do the second one then. The two three seven since you okay. said two two five. Okay, so then I got eleven thousand four hundred eighty four. I got twenty one thousand four hundred ninety two. Great, so there's no relationship. Okay. <laughs> Yay! So how the heck? Wait, let me double this and see, huh? There's no doubt about it. Yeah. Well, I don't know because no, nope. Um, um, shoot. How would you even go about? This? I don't know. Dude, I'm a senior and I don't even know this. Hang on. But that would make the most sense. Well, maybe then this information But that's only about show. yellow. Are they are asking that, total golf balls, aren't they? Golf balls. <laughs> don't give us anything about the white ones. The white golf balls. Oh, oh. It just gives you the ratio. One to five. Golf ball sales, yellow golf ball sales to white golf ball sales in four years, and year four to be about one to four. So, then, <laughs> whoops. <laughs> so then, does that um the average selling price is a box of twelve or twelve white? So, so then, would we just have to use the, the dollar? So the average the dollar selling price twenty three and ninety four. Ninety four. So. White golf balls sales are five times the amount of yellow. Mm -hmm. So should we do $23.94 times five? You get 119.7. So then that would be for one year. No. That's like the average. Look, the because one then, year is 24 because or then we can do like the ratio 000. from like yellow. How much is twenty? Shoot, no, I have no idea what I'm doing. Me either. I would give up at this point. Yeah, I'm giving up right now. I'm just go to the next question. Okay, can we do that? Yeah. Next. Okay, here we go. Okay, so now number nine. <laughs> James has a board that is three-fourths foot long. He wants to cut the board into pieces that are one-eighth foot long each. So three-fourths. If you convert that, that's six-eighths. Okay. And then how many pieces can James cut from the board? Six. six. Okay. How can he use the number line diagram to determine the number of pieces he can cut from the board? Explain why. how James can use it. Why do you, you need, need a number line? The number line. You can do that in your head. Six. <laughs> there was another part? Okay. There was? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, oh, right? Equation using division that represents how James can find the number of pieces he can cut. From you don't the board. need to make an equation to Just find a common denominator of fractions. Three fourths times. <laughs> three fourths times. Two over two. Yeah. Equals one. Space. There we go. <laughs> Equals six eighths. Six. Okay. And then six eighths divided by one eighth. Equals. 
Six eighths what? Well, six I don't even know. Divided by what? No, yeah. wouldn't it be six eighths minus one eighth? No, no. You would get five eighths. <laughs> I don't know how to like word this. You just know that. See, this yeah, is what makes it hard because you have to explain it. When like, you if you just like, show you just your work, then yeah. you can't show We're your just, work virtually. We're going to do that even though it says using division. Okay. Okay. Student felt a rectangular, bright rectangular prism shaped box with one inch cubes to find the volume. In cubic inches, the student's work is shown. I do yes. my box. That probably doesn't matter, so I'm not going to read it yet. Gosh, why do they do that? They always add unnecessary information. So I there are nine answer. layers below the top layer, so that means there's ten layers. And then I pack one the box the visual of cubes. Each cube has a volume of one cubic inch, so then that's 63 cubic inches. Since 63 cube... Oh, you got to multiply the 63 by the length, right? You're asking the wrong person? Wait, no, here. Do the visual representation doesn't side. even match what it, the information here, given. Here, hold on, wait. One, two, I got three, nine and eleven. Four, five, nine times six, eleven seven, is ninety-nine, eight, nine. not sixty-three. One. I think it's like the top square top. Yeah, because it's a rectangle. One, two, three, okay, well four, then. five, Let six, me. seven, eight. One, well, two, I counted three, that later. four, oh, yeah. five, six. Six times eight is twenty. Hang on. Sixty-four, right? Mm -hmm. Six times eight. Is forty-two? No, forty. Yeah, it's forty. Oh, I'm dumb. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> I just there's seven here. At so six. seven, one. Yeah, seven times nine is sixty-three. Yeah. Okay. Well, okay. then this is ninety-nine because I just counted those because okay. that was nine and that was eleven. So ninety-nine plus ninety. So ninety-nine times four, and then sixty-three times two. So three. 63, 63 times, times 2. But it's the whole plus volume, though, not just like the circle. I got 522. Yeah. For what? The total. Oh. Because Including the 99 layer? times 4 is 396. Then 63 times 2. Wouldn't it be? And then you add those together, and I got 522. Isn't area of a. Bye. You too. Okay. Isn't it length times width times height? Yeah. Length so times width six, times height. Yeah. Six um, times nine times eleven. But there's a seven in there too. Oh, he got five sixty-seven. <laughs> Wait, so is he right or is no? He it says explain why he's wrong. Oh, so maybe we're right. I no, can't do this. Hang on a second. Let me. Oh my god. So there's. Seven, eleven. Okay, but people are gonna be like, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh my god! Give me, give me. Oh my no, that calculator. Is How are sixth graders supposed to take this? I can't even do this. I'm in twelfth grade. I'm six years ahead of them. I got six ninety three. Did you say that already? Yeah, we yeah, got six ninety three. Okay, so explain why he's wrong. He did not <laughs> multiply <laughs> correctly the right answer. It is six ninety-three. Wait, no, but don't should aren't we supposed to shouldn't we like show how it's we got that? A Who second cares? box? It's five ninety-three. That's there's a second box? What do you mean? I got I got hang on. Nine times eleven equals ninety-nine times seven. What the heck? No, my work is gone. <laughs> I can't See, find. this is the problem. You can't even look up back at your work. Because yeah. you use your phone calculator. Okay, but regardless, if you well, use a calculator on a computer, you still can't go back well, and see your gonna work. Well, it's going to be on a paper test, though, so... No, this is the computer test. What? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> so but there's I'm... a second box that has a base and area of 63 inches. Isn't that what it was? But it has a volume of 756. So 756. What is the height? Is... Don't you... It has a base area, so base times height. It's going to be the 7 and 9 again. It's 63. So... so... 
I feel like so I'm gonna cry because I don't know this night. I feel so stupid. That didn't work. Oh my gosh. It's 12? I got 12. Like I got 12.14 something. But I mean. 7 times 9 times 12 equals 7. That's a 1. Shh. <laughs> okay. There we go. Oh, How we are you? have three more questions left. Okay. A group. Oh my gosh, my brain's fried already. Mm -hmm. A group of hikers buy eight bags of trail mix. Each bag contains three and one half cups of trail mix. The trail mix is shared evenly among 12 hikers. So. Each, so 3.5 times 8 is 28 cups total. Divided by 12. Divided by 12. Yeah. Two. So they get two, two and one, one, one third. third. Oh, yeah, two and one third. third. Yeah. And then just show your work. Cups each. Alright, that one wasn't too bad. No, but there's another part. Of course it is. Oh gosh. So we did 3.5 or 1 half okay, times 8 equals 28 divided by 12. Hikers plan to visit a scenic lookout. They will rest after they hike two miles. Then they will hike the remaining one and three fourths miles to the lookout. Oh my god. I don't want to do this anymore. I can't even do fractions. I couldn't even do fractions in sixth grade. Like, I don't want to. I don't, I don't, yeah, I don't want to do this. <laughs> I don't care about. <laughs> This is like Can we be done? where like during the points where oh, I would just be done with right. testing. Let's, let's you know look what at I mean? the next question. No, I don't. Oh, like, I don't you know what I mean? Like, you know how like when you get to a certain part of the test, you just start giving up and you just start guessing. Like this, this is where fair. it is, and this is eleven of twelve, and then we have probably another part, section of this test. And I get, and it's just a nope. sample. Like there's yeah, tests really. that are so much longer. Seems too. Easy. This is gonna be like an hour and a half, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Well, I read online that like for the mathematics, I don't know for like the computer one. Congratulations, you have finished the last section of this test. Okay, the last submit section final answers. Let's see what our score is. An answer for. What? And you can't even get to look at your scores? Because you're not signed in. Oh. Well, I'm not going to make an account for something I don't support. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, that's, that's fun. Fine. 